Good afternoon, St. Barnabas. I come to you from my living room, and uh, it's actually morning for me. I'm, I'm finishing up my morning coffee. I've, I've said my prayers and done my exercise, and I'm actually still in my exercise clothes. And, uh, but I wanted, I wanted to come to you from my living room. And, and um, even as I enter your, your personal setting, your home or your office or some other personal setting, I wanted to come to you from my home. This, this update, I'd like to be a little different. I'd like our tone to be more pastoral and frankly, more personal if, uh, if we can manage that. So as I ponder this time that we're in as your pastor, I find myself continually coming back to a quote from James Finley that has been extremely meaningful for me for some time now and especially meaningful in a time like this. Dr. Finley says, if we are absolutely grounded in the absolute love of God that protects us from nothing, even as it sustains us in all things, then we can face all things with courage and tenderness and touch the hurting places in others and in ourselves with love. So, in a time like this, we want to look at each other and say, it'll be all right. And it will. It will be all right as a people of faith because we know God is with us. That promise of God with us is not the promise that we will not get sick. And it's certainly not the promise that we will not die. It's the promise that God will be with us, sustaining us in everything and sustaining us into eternity. And the more we sink into that deep truth of our faith, the more that we have courage and the more that we have tenderness to respond to one another with love. Sometimes laying hold of theological hope can be so powerful. We talk a lot about love and faith and maybe not quite so much about hope, but theological hope is extremely powerful. Our hope is that God will indeed make all things well, that in the end, all will be well. And because all will be well in the end, all is well now, because whatever is happening now, it's taking us to the end that God has imagined, and the end that God has imagined is a glorious end in which we celebrate in the presence of our God. And so, so I want to encourage us to sustain ourselves and one another in this deep faith, in this deep hope that sinks into love. And, and by the way, I've been doing some daily meditations that want to help us using the Lord's Prayer as a guide for how we can sink into God and sink into our faith and our hope. So the second thing I want to talk about is our community life at St. Barnabas. And on the one hand, we can't gather. On the other hand, we can gather. We can just gather in a different way. So all over our website and our social media, especially our Facebook, are all kinds of opportunities to gather at St. Barnabas. And uh, I just commend that to you uh, uh, as, as strongly as I can. Go to our website, stbarnabas.org, and you'll find all kinds of ways that we can connect. We're, we're live streaming things and we're putting videos on our website and on our Facebook page and lots of ways to connect with us. Additionally, we're doing a lot with Zoom. I mean, I, I've heard about Zoom and I, I knew I, I needed to learn it. And, and up until now, I didn't know, I, I, I don't recall that I've ever done it now. I'm in all kinds of Zoom meetings, and there's all kinds of Zoom meetings going on. So I understand there's Zoom dinner parties. We're talking about Zoom cocktail hour. We're talking about Zoom coffee hour. Uh, we're just expanding Zoom in every way we possibly can. Our, our church has Zoom Bible studies going on. It has Zoom prayer meetings going on. It has other kinds of 
social meetings happening via Zoom. So, so we and we and we want to help you with that. By the way, if if you're not uh, good with technology, neither am I. And so I've been learning all about it, and I've had lots of help. And and uh, Kate Fimbres has becoming a bit of an expert in this. And at our staff meeting, our Zoom staff meeting yesterday, Kate said we need to change my job title from director of, of youth ministries and parish life to director of youth ministries, parish life, and Zoom consultant. So if you're interested in, if you're in any kind of group at St. Barnabas, a book club or any other kind of group, and you're interested in that, uh, figuring out or, or exploring whether you all can meet via Zoom, please contact Kate. Kate wants to help you in you can find her on our website. You can go to our website and to the leadership page, and there you'll find Kate's email and phone, and you can contact her. And she's raring and ready to go, and she has a team together to help us help us uh, get get uh, make the most of of online meetings via Zoom. Additionally, we've we've put together five formal calling trees and. Where it's our uh, intention to call every member of the parish and call more than once. We have multiple, as I said, five calling trees. And I've since learned that there are uh, lots of informal calling trees going on. And I really want to encourage you to do that. Call your friends, call parishioners. If you know anyone that might be alone or isolated and, and might need a phone call, call them. Please, please do that. Or if you know anyone that's perhaps challenged with technology and maybe could use some help with that, reach out to them, give them a call and, and, and help. And, and in every way possible, let's reach out to each other. Let's continue to be a community of faith and hope and love that has courage and tenderness and can reach out to each other in love. That's who we are. That's who we are. And let's not let that we can't gather physically stop us from being this church that we are, a church of faith, hope, and love. So I know it's a crazy time, and I know it's a challenging time, and we can rise to that challenge. As the people of faith, we can rise to that challenge, encourage one another, comfort one another, transmit Christ to one another, be the presence of God to one another, sustaining one another through this time. And indeed, it will be all right. Bless you and thank you. Amen.